गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल फाइन ओके स्टूडेंट्स नाउ इज द सेशन ऑफ बिजनेस स्टडी ओके इन द लास्ट टू और थ्री सेशंस वी हैव डिस्कस्ड मच अबाउट द मीनिंग ऑफ प्लानिंग importance of planning and the basic features or characteristics of planning in detail okay both in the video session as well as in online session and now in this session i would like to discuss the next topic of this chapter planning and that is planning process you know students management begins from planning okay and other functions of management cannot be performed without performance of planning function so the management of any organization first formulates a plan prepares a plan for the organization this plan may be of the two types called single use plan and a standing plan a single use plan is prepared for a specific purpose or for a specified period of time to achieve a specific target as soon as the target is achieved the goal is achieved this single use plan is supposed to be over so long as a standing plans are concerned they are prepared for a longer period of time and in fact the activities of the organization on regular basis are undertaken as per a standing plans okay so when the management in does itself into planning process then it has to pass through different stages or the management has to follow some of the basic steps of planning that means that means the planning process involves different steps and the planner has to follow these steps one after another okay what are these steps important steps to be followed under planning process do you know let us discuss the first step of planning process is determining objectives or setting objectives you know students in fact the process of planning begins from determination of the objectives of an organization already you know what are called objectives objectives are the end results towards attainment attainment of which all activities of an organization are undertaken and the resources are utilized okay for example the objective of a business organization may be to expand the business or to increase profit or maybe so many objectives like this so when we say objective setting the objective that means determining or deciding the end results which management wants to achieve through planning okay these objectives may be of three types already you may may have known the first type of objectives is called organizational objectives which cover survival profit and group the second type of objective may be 
पर्सनल और इंडिविजुअल ऑब्जेक्टिव विच आर रिलेटेड टू फुलफिलमेंट ऑफ द नीड्स ऑफ द वर्कर्स एंड एम्प्लाइज दैट मीन्स द पर्सनल नीड्स पर्सनल ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द एम्प्लाइज ओके एनदर टाइप ऑफ ऑब्जेक्टिव इज द सोशल ऑब्जेक्टिव दैट मीन्स फुलफिलमेंट ऑफ सोशल अकाउंटेबिलिटी और some of the objectives which must be adhered to or fulfilled by the management of an organization okay to develop the society or to develop the country okay so first of all while talking about the plan the management of an organization first determines the objectives which have to be achieved through the planning process these objectives are well defined and made clear to all so that everyone working in the organization and concerned with the planning must know about the ultimate end or the concerned objective which he or she has to achieve okay the second important step of planning process is developing premises developing premises here means making assumptions and doing the forecastings of the future conditions and future events or future happenings you know student the success of planning depends on anticipations perceptions and the forecastings which the planners make on the basis of informations and knowledge and on the basis of expertise and on the basis of planning ability okay the developing premises here means assuming the future conditions as well as forecasting about the future events these premises are basically of the two types called internal premises and external premises external premises include in top the needs of the workers and employees that means the personal needs personal objectives of the employees okay another type of objective is the social objectives that means fulfillment of social accountability or some of the objectives which must be adhered to or fulfilled by the management of an organization okay to develop the society or to develop the country okay so first of all while talking out a plan the management of an organization first determines the objectives which have to be achieved through the planning process these objectives are well defined and made clear to all so that everyone working in the organization and concerned with the planning must know about the ultimate aim or the concerned objective which he or she has to achieve okay the second important step of planning process is developing premises developing premises here means making assumptions and doing the forecastings of the future conditions and future events or future happenings you know student the success of planning depends on anticipations perceptions and the forecastings 
which the planners make on the basis of information and knowledge and on the basis of expertise and on the basis of planning ability okay the developing premises here means assuming the future conditions as well as forecasting about the future events these premises are basically of the two types called internal premises and external premises external premises include so long as internal premises are concerned it includes availability of capital raw material organizational objectives policies and so many other things which are available within the organization and which are under control of the management they in fact the internal premises these factors have to be assumed okay and so long as external uh, premises are concerned that includes government's policy tax structure suppliers market intermediaries competitors customers public these are different factors of external premises and about the behavior of external premises a forecasting or prediction has to be made okay so while formulating a plan the planner first concentrates on assuming the internal premises as well as forecasting the external premises on the basis of which the activities and decisions will be uh, uh, made in the coming steps okay so the second step is to develop premises in planning process so long as the third step of planning process is concerned it relates to identification of alternative courses of actions you know students any particular job can be performed in different ways or there can be different methods of doing a particular job or there may be so many alternatives to achieve a particular goal or to fulfill a particular objective how let us understand for example if the objective of a business enterprise is to expand its business then it may be possible through different ways through different methods such as by expanding the existing business such as by increasing the varieties of existing product such as by starting a new line of production such as by doing a tie up with another firm such as by establishing a partnership with another firm such as by merger with another firm such as through acquisition of another firm and there are so many ways so many methods of uh, this objective the objective of expanding the business which can be used okay so as a third step the planner identifies all these alternative courses of action very carefully and after a thorough observations okay and once 
दीज अल्टरनेटिव कोर्सेस ऑफ एक्शन आर आइडेंटिफाइड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दियर मेरिट्स एंड डिमेरिट्स देन another step of planning process comes that is called evaluating the alternative courses of actions right this is the fourth step of planning process what about this evaluating alternative courses of action let us discuss let us explain whatever alternative courses of actions are identified by the planner they have their own merits and demerits which means all the or there can be different methods of doing a particular job or there may be so many alternatives to achieve a particular goal or to fulfill a particular objective how let us understand for example if the objective of a business enterprise is to expand its business then it may be possible through different ways through different methods such as by expanding the existing business such as by increasing the varieties of existing product such as by starting a new line of production such as by doing a tie up with another firm such as by establishing a partnership with another firm such as by merger with another firm such as through acquisition of another firm and there are so many ways so many methods of uh this objective the objective of expanding the business which can be used okay so as a third step the planner identifies all these alternative courses of action very carefully and after a thorough observations okay and once these alternative courses of action are identified on the basis of their merits and demerits then another step of planning process comes that is called evaluating the alternative courses of actions right this is the fourth step of planning process what about this evaluating alternative courses of action let us discuss let us explain whatever alternative courses of actions are identified by the planner they have their own merits and demerits which means all the all the alternative courses of actions which have been identified may have positive impacts as well as negative impacts both okay so they are evaluated through a comparison between them on the basis of their merits and on the basis of their demerits okay those alternatives are uh selected which have maximum number of merits and minimum number of demerits that means those alternatives are given priority in the planning process which may have more positive impacts and less negative impacts okay so through a careful observation a study and research or analysis it will be found out by the planner that which alternative course of action should be taken under consideration and which alternative should be left out
okay and once this evolution is done then another step of planning starts that is called selecting an alternative okay those alternative courses of action which have been identified out of them a particular course of action will be selected as master plan to be followed as master plan okay and the planner may have some a uh, few more alternatives as reserve so that in case if the selected alternative fails then those reserve alternatives could be utilized okay so after a thorough and careful observation the evolution of different alternatives courses of action is done and then a particular alternative course of action is selected and then after the next step of planning is taken up that is follow up uh, implementation of the plan implementation of the plan means all the concerned people engaged in planning process are informed about the plans they are given their assignments they are given their duties what they have to do how they have to do when they have to do why they have to do and with whom they have to do okay so implementation of plan takes place this way and once the plan is implemented then follow up action starts what is this follow up action this follow up action means to view to see whether the planning is being followed by everyone by every concerned person properly or not okay so this follow up action is undertaken to see whether the instructions and guidance given under planning process are being followed by the concerned persons or not okay if everything is going on according to the plan then the planner will not do anything and if there are some deviations or the plan is not being implemented properly then the necessary changes in planning will be made by the planner by the management okay so this is all about the process of planning in short which i have discussed today and in online class also i will go in detail okay so till then i would like i would like to say thank you for today okay thank you if the selected alternative fails then those reserve alternatives could be utilized okay so after a thorough and careful observation the evolution of different alternatives courses of action is done and then a particular alternative course of action is selected and then after the next step of planning is taken up that is follow up uh, implementation of the plan implementation of the plan means all the concerned people engaged in planning process are informed about the plans they are given their assignments they are given their duties what they have to do how they have to do when they have to do why they have to do and with whom they have to do okay so 
implementation of plan takes place this way and once the plan is implemented then follow up action starts what is this follow up action this follow up action means to view to see whether the planning is being followed by everyone by every concerned person properly or not okay so this follow up action is undertaken to see whether the instructions and guidance given under planning process are being followed by the concerned persons or not okay if everything is going on according to the plan then the planner will not do anything and if there are some deviations or the plan is not being implemented properly then the necessary changes in planning will be made by the planner by the management okay so this is all about the process of planning in short which i have discussed today and in online class also i will go in detail okay so till then i would like i would like to say thank you for today okay thank you